Good evening, Internet. I'm Matt Buyak, and tonight I will be solving the fifth problem in the ProjectEuler.net problem archive. So this problem asks us to find the smallest positive number that is evenly divisible by all numbers from 1 to 20. That is, uh, it's essentially asking us to find the least common multiple uh, of all numbers 1 to 20. And uh, this problem is interesting because um, unlike many of the other problems in the archive, uh, it really can be solved just uh, by, by analysis by hand. Um, there were some problems earlier that we were able to uh, solve by hand by employing some amount of cleverness, um, but, uh, but this one I, I feel uh, really is pretty straightforward. So let's, uh, let's get into it. So let's uh, copy our template directory to make uh, problem five and open Emacs. Okay, so um, to start off with, there's uh, an important relationship between the, the prime factorization of a number and uh, the least common multiple of, of two numbers. Um, so, so suppose we, we have a number a, and we're going to uh, you know, factor that as, uh, as the product you know, of i goes from uh, 0 to infinity um, of uh, you know, some prime uh, piece of i uh, raised to the power uh, a sub i. Um, and then suppose you have uh, another, another number, call it, uh, call it b. Um, um, then we can we can write the least common multiple um, as the the maximum um, exponent for each prime uh, across all of the primes. So so that would be uh, you know the least common multiple of a and b is just going to be uh, similarly this uh, this product here. Except for the for the exponent, we're always going to take the um, the maximum of of a sub i and uh, and b sub i there. Um, let me see if I can come up with a, an example real quick. Let let's say we had um, a equals uh, twelve, um, you know, which is two squared uh, times uh, you know three to the one. Um, and then uh, suppose we also have uh, you know b is equal to um, uh, let's say 18. Um, so that's going to be two times uh, three squared. Excuse me, two raised to the first power. Um, so then if we if we follow our our equation here and we take the the maximum exponent for each of these, we see that the the maximum exponent on 2 is 2, and the maximum exponent on 3 uh, is also 2. And so that would give us the, uh, the least common multiple of a and b is going to be equal to uh, 2 squared um, times uh, 3 squared. And so uh, you know, that gives us 36. Oops. Um, and you'll notice that that is, in fact, divisible by both 12 and 18. Uh, so this this pretty significantly uh, simplifies our problem um, because it means we just have to find uh, for all of the primes less than than 20 uh, or or 10 for our test input um, we just have to find the largest power on that uh, on that prime um, and and for most of the numbers less than 10 or less than 20. Uh, the, the, or most of the primes, the largest exponent is going to be 1. Um, just as an example, um, if we look at, you know, suppose n equals, n equals 10, um, then uh, looking at 2, we have, um, you know, two, uh, 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 2 cubed is equal to 8 is less than 10, but, uh, you know, 2 to the 4th is, uh, you know, is 16 which is greater than 10. And then uh, similarly, we could say, um, uh, uh, you know, 3 uh, squared is equal to 9, which is less than 10. 
um, and and but then your three cubed is 27, which is greater than 10. Um, and so the the largest power we're going to find on any number, um, you know, less than 10 uh, for the for 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 um, the for the prime two is going to be three, and for for the prime three, it's going to be two. Um, but then if we look at the next prime, uh, you know, we have five to the first is obviously equal five is less than 10, uh, but, but five squared is, uh, is 25, which is greater than 10. Um, and in fact, every other prime, uh, uh, well, uh, you know, for 10, we have, we have seven um, is less than 10. Um, uh, uh, but even for, for our case where n equals 20, you know, if we, if we say n equals 20, we're going to end up with, um, you know, uh, 5 to the first is equal to 5, uh, you know, less than 20. But, but similarly, uh, 5 squared equals 25 is greater than 20. Um, and, then, and then similarly for, uh, you, know, uh, you know, 7, 11, 13, et cetera. Um, and so what this means is that all we have to do is find the greatest exponent on 2, the greatest exponent on 3, and then uh, uh, multiply those by each of the other primes um, less than our, our target number. So in particular, for, for n equals 10, um, you know, we're going to have 2 cubed times uh, you know, uh, 3 squared times uh, 5 times 7. And uh, if we just pull up our calculator real quick, uh, then we're going to get, uh, what is that, uh, 8 times 9 uh, times 5 times 7. So that gives us 2,520. Um, if we check back here, we'll see that does indeed match our test input. Um, so the uh, for the, the n equals 20 case, um, just takes a little bit more calculation. So we'll see that uh, you know, 2 to the 4th is equal to 16, uh, but 2 to the 5th the uh, is equal to 32. So, so uh, 4 is going to be the largest of uh, exponent of 2. Um, it gives you a number less than 20. And then uh, uh, you know, similarly, we have um, you know, still 3 uh, squared is equal to 9. And I'm say it's, uh, you know, less than 20. 32 greater than 20. Um, is equal to 9, less than 20. And then, uh, you know, 3 cubed is equal to, to 27, which is greater than 20. Um, and so it's, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to just... Um, you know, take our powers of, of two and three, and then and then each of the other primes less than twenty in order to get our answer. Uh, and so if we take you know sixteen uh, times nine times five times seven times eleven times thirteen times seventeen times nineteen, um, we get this number here: uh, two hundred thirty-two million uh, seven hundred ninety-two thousand five hundred sixty. And if we um, pull up the problem archive here, we'll see that that indeed uh, matches our calculations. So I will see you uh, tomorrow for uh, problem six, uh, and I hope to see you there.